Alright, so this is going to be a bit of a shorter episode. Um, we've made a bit of a mistake when it comes to the the grill right here. Uh, this is this is just not going to work in the future when we have when we're going to have a lot of loop cuts coming through, like here, here. Uh, we're gonna have we're probably going to have a lot of those, and that's just going to make it a pain to clean up later. So we might as well clean it up now. So if we take a look at the real grill, uh, what we'll see is that. Um, there's like this dip right about here uh, it just kind of dips in towards the headlight and the entire headlight is part of this inner rim that we've not really done and then on top of that there's like a perfectly cylindrical cut right there for the headlight uh, which everything seems to go towards so we should probably fix that along with making uh, this completely uh, straight uh, com like this entire thing flush with the the front of the car so how we're gonna do that is I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to remove all of the vertices I'm just gonna take my uh, 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 C tool right here just and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and cover all of those Oop, we don't need those so. oh, what the heck. So we're just going to take those and faces and we can actually just hide the grill for now because this is just going to get a bit irritating. Okay. Yeah, here. We'll just hide we'll just hide the grill for now. Um what we're going to need to do is currently this is a complete square. So we're going to need to work on it such that we can make it more of a, a complete figure. And one more thing we need to do is we need to bevel this entire thing inwards and make it inset. So, let's actually first do that because that's the easiest thing to do. So we'll just take, uh, we will take, hmm, let's see, how, how to best do this? You know what, we might even have to delete everything inside here too. Just, uh, or do we? No, we don't. So, first let's uh, S scale along the Z axis. Yeah, that, that is the angle we're looking for right there. And we want the same angle from inside there. All right. So we actually need to delete these vertices too, now that I think about it. Nope, not that. Oh my goodness, okay. We'll just delete these. Precision is just terrible. Okay. These vertices. Uh, and then we need to extend these ones down. So the best way to probably do this is look at it from a side view. Yeah, right there. So we're just going to click E with only selecting that vertice and pull it. Just pull it a little bit. And then, yeah, you can look at it uh, more clearly here. And you're not going to be able to tell, like, how, uh, how big of a tilt you have. So it's going to have to estimate here. So we're just going to try filling that in and see how the plane looks. If it looks decent, then... Yeah, it's not bad. I guess we can maybe move this up a little bit. When the shadows all kind of match, you know it's decent. But they, you don't want them to completely match because this side also dips a little bit, so you gotta also be aware of that. It's, it's kind of it, really. Yeah, just. Yep, I'd say that's good. And then on top of that, we want to extrude here. And all of these places actually, so we're just going to select all of those. And what we're going to need to do here is let's just go to top view and then wireframe, make it easier for what the heck? Wireframe and then just here, yeah, okay, go back to selecting all of those. And then 
E to extrude and then just extrude maybe at that angle uh, and maybe that far out. Yeah, it seems decent. Okay, let's make it solid. Okay. Yeah, looks good to me. It's a little bit funky, but um, we can go ahead and fix that later at least. That's not too dependent on the loop cuts that we have. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Um, we're gonna have to move that in, so yeah, let's just, let's go fill in this one first. Okay, and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just make the entire thing a bit more circular. There we go. Just curve everything a bit because this part is the, like, Oh, and yeah, and you can just hit G twice to make stuff move along the lines they already exist on. That actually just uh, preserves geometry, so, yeah. If you want to, that would, uh, it would just make things easier for you uh, when, you try, when you're trying to make the shape. So, it's evident that there's a little bit of space on this side compared to the other side. Yeah, so you have a bit of a dip right there. Um, and you have a perfect cylinder right there. So you know what we can do? To make the whole job easier, we can just introduce a cylinder. Oh, that is not... Okay, yeah, so we're gonna... R, uh, X, D. And then just shrink that down way, way down, way down. Okay. Yeah, okay, that should be good. And then just shrink it further, further. Okay, and then... Move along the Y. It's not gonna do anything. Put it along the Y, maybe. Then, you know what? You can just do like positioning like that after this point, and then just cheesy. Okay, so the actual headlight is massive. Let's just try scaling to that. Uh, this this is not going to be our actual headlight. This is just a reference for for uh, how to shape the exterior of the headlight. I mean, if we want to, we could, but I mean, it's just useless geometry at the moment, so we might as well leave it. Oh no, we might as well remove it. So okay, that's interesting because it's pretty massive. Yeah, this is really massive compared to what we have. And I think the reason for that is because we have this massive box right here. So what we can actually do first is, first let's actually hide this. So we'll just go H, and then we'll go here, and then we're gonna go and like Shift Alt, and then click, wait, uh, yeah, click that. Shift Alt here, click that. Shift Alt here, click right to the left of these vertices and all that. And that's gonna select our entire loop cut. And then what we can do is just scale it outwards a bit. Yeah, uh, and this is going to be like more difficult for some of these vertices because they're way closer to the edge. Also, this is a duplicate vertice, I believe. Where is it? No, it's not a duplicate vertice. We made a mistake. Okay, actually, let's scale it back, scale it back, scale it back. We gotta fix this right now. So, delete this. And X faces. Okay, if you guys didn't make this mistake, you can probably skip forward, but I made this mistake, so I'm just going to fix that. Okay, perfect. Um, there we go. Um, you know what, we could probably just manually move these ones uh, after seeing what happened earlier. It would actually be far easier for us. So what we're going to do is we're just going to select these ones uh, on uh, in retrospect. Scale them upwards. Or no, scale them outwards. You know what, just scale them on the z-axis. That just makes it easier. Yeah, scale them upwards or downwards. And yeah, we just make that bezel way thinner than it really is right now. Maybe like around there. Yeah, that, that should do it. 
and then we can work on the interior in a bit but just move that there just move everything corresponding to like how far it's scaled Yeah, I know this is very uneven, but you know what I should have actually done is being a bit of a hypocrite here. Uh, yeah, like that. Just yeah, hitting G twice makes everything move along the lines. It's all big. They already exist upon. There, that makes it far more even, and uh, we can go and fix any inconsistencies that uh, exist later, I guess. Here we're going to have to make a bit of a compromise, and maybe here too. There's really nothing that can be done there, but it's still overall a much thinner bezel now. Yeah, we're going to have to fix that up somehow. It's a pity, like, everything comes to meet right there, that one word, see, and it happens to be so massive. Okay, whatever. So, um, you know what, actually, just move that up. But that's not what it looks like, the real thing, right? Yeah, no, we can't do that. Okay, so, now what we can do is we can scale the interior up to... SZ because we don't want it flying all over the place and then these ones we can move manually uh, just the GG process GG and remember this side has a uh, bit of space in between it and the headlight so like yeah see now we can see the actual headlight through the th um, through the space which is good Okay, and now if we go tab and then alt H and hide the grill, of course, because we don't need the grill. Uh, this actually fits in better. I don't know what we can do about the fact that it's cutting right through the lip. Because that's not supposed to be happening, I don't think, according to the reference image. Yeah, I think our lip is positioned a bit too high. But you know, that's not even a difficult problem to fix. All we need to do is just highlight all of these vertices and then just move it down accordingly. Just press G and then Z and then just move it down a bit. Done. Solid. Yeah, we're going to have to go fix that, but other than that, it's fine. So, like, what we can do here is just move these out a bit. This is really getting on my nerves, this entire, this part. I don't know what to do about that. Hmm. We're going to have to come up with a solution for that, no matter what. Because it's just weird. But, you know, honestly, I don't even know if we can reconstruct that geometry. You know what? Let's try. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this up here and we're going to figure out how to go ahead and fix up the issues here. So we're going to hide this one more time. Yeah, we might just do the headlight in a second part because I'm just going to make this an episode about fixing geometry because we really have to fix this front geometry. It looks pretty terrible. So. Yeah, okay, I've got it. So we're going to make the loop cut right and just click the line right here. Oh, no, not like that. Uh, what we need to do is actually first delete these faces. Every face right here. Okay, now it makes it easier for us to work with. So what we can do 
is we can make an, uh, extru two extrusions going up, two extrusions going out. Uh, so like, okay, one there, then one there. And I know that looks horrible. Um, bear with me for a sec. Um, this should fix all of our edge issues over here because that was looking terrible earlier. So you can go and move that down that way. Uh, wireframe. Just move it down outwards a bit, maybe like roughly. Yeah, wait, no, that's actually fine. Let me think about it. Yeah, that the current position for that is fine. And then this needs to definitely move out a bit, so we can move that over like there, ish. And then we can just move all of these inwards. Not this one, but like these generally, yeah. Just move it along the Y. Perfect. Maybe a little bit forward, actually. Actually, you know what? That's good. That's good. Okay, now we can go back into solid, and then we can go ahead and fill. Yeah. Okay, we can go ahead and fill in this stuff. Let's move this a little bit. That looks grotesque if we don't. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we're just going to do... Yeah. Move these closer. I know I said to like, like hit G twice and then move stuff, but like in this scenario, uh, I don't know if it, that was as feasible. Sorry about that. I'll put that there. Yeah, um, it's always good to get these geometry problems sorted sorted out before you're um, actually going to be making a bunch of loop cuts. Because once you start making a massive amount of loop cuts, fixing geometry becomes a serious pain. So I think you know that's that's probably where we're going to call it for this episode, making a general circle shape. We'll go ahead and uh, actually maybe we should fix this one too. Is that necessary? It's not nearly as bad as the one below, but I feel like it'll cause geometry problems eventually. Like, take a look at the loop cut, how the loop cut works here. Yes, yeah, so if we make any loop cuts going down this way, yeah, that, is, that is just not, that's not it. It's, because if you make a loop cut going this way, you'd want it to go down, right? So like, notice how we fixed it here. They all go right into the headlight, but this one, and all of these other ones go right into the headlight, but this one goes all this way. So we might have to fix that right now. You know what? Let's just do it. It's not even that difficult. And then that's where we're going to call it for the episode. So we're going to just do the same thing we did with the other one. Where we're going to move these two all the way down to their proper places. Maybe like, like right there. And then we're going to make a, a set, two sets right here. Uh, two um, extrusions. So... Faces, okay, perfect. And then just e. Yeah, e. Okay, the first E should be fine. We can go ahead and fill that. And then the second E, I can just move it. Yeah. Did I even select it? Oh, that's why. I'm so confused. This one, we'll just move it back here. Perfect. Oh, this is going to be a pretty long episode now that I think about it. Yeah, okay, but all about fixing that geometry. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's about it for this one. I'm, we just fixed that geometry up a bit. Next one, we might also do a little bit of fixing up the geometry. Uh, and then uh, we can start working on that front grill again. Um, all right. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm, and also, I'm sorry about the break I had earlier. Sorry about that. Yeah. All right. Bye.